Hi there, this is Kathy Crow here at the Crow Cottage. I'm sorry that I was not here last week. Jeff and I, uh, I'm, I'm on the side here um, as I speak. <laughs> Let me get my sound off. I actually found, saw the video pop up. That was awesome. Um, we were gone on vacation and I'll have to tell you as we go along a little bit about that. We had a really good time. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to do a cute little booklet. Um, I do forget the demonstrator I saw this advertised from, but all you use is one sheet of DSP, and um, we probably have some of that left over. If you're like me, I have some left over. Let me get rid of a little dot there. Oh, hi, Sheila. How are you? You know, um, today I want to show you guys, um, so Jeff and I are moving. I don't know if you heard. Uh, you might not have. Uh, Jeff had to do a little video for our church because I have been staying home watching it online the whole time because they're all masked up, you know, at church and I don't choose to wear a mask most of the time and um, church is a long time. It's, you know, three hours. So I'm not going to wear a mask for three hours. So I just do it online. Um, and because of that, there's just a lot of people who, um, you know, would normally hear that we're moving through me, probably. <laughs> and um, so anyhow, Jeff wanted needed to do a little video to let everybody know that we are moving. Not that it's that big a deal. I mean, I'm sure many people are like, ah, whatever. <laughs> but anyhow, he did that. And then he said, why don't you put it on Facebook? And I was like, wow, I'm surprised you would even suggest that because... Jeff kind of has left Facebook a long time ago, um, but I'm sure he knows that many people do look at it. So we announced on Facebook yesterday that we are moving to Missouri, and we're really excited about it. We had a wonderful vacation there. Hi, Linda. Nice to see you. And um, and because of that, I have hundreds of cards now. I have to give away because I need to. Um, and these are my really nice cards. I mean, I've been saving these ladies for my benevolence program. I've got like packs of 20 and 25, some of them, all packaged up. And um, so I am selling them for $10 a package. I mean, this is, I, I hate to do it. There's, I've got like little booklet cards and special fold out cards. And these are my best ones that I was saving to use for my benevolence program here. But I am going to be moving and I'm going to leave some things with them. But I know whoever does is probably not going to send out cards like I did. So I, I hate to dump a whole lot of really, actually, you know, I was selling those cards for $10 dollars a card. So anyhow, um, it's a great deal for somebody else and also nice for me to get rid of cards. So I've got that. I, I've got the link up on my website and um, I will send it out in a newsletter and I will put one on here too. But I just wanted you to see that these are nice fat packs, lots of nice cards in there. And if I took them out, each one, you'd be like, are you kidding me? Those are fabulous cards. Now that's not the only thing I am selling right now because I'm, I'm trying to get rid of some stash right? Hi, Corey. It's good to see you. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of stuff I need to get rid of. So I made um, this really beautiful. Now, this is just a little sample here. I'm going to open it, though. I haven't attached my tag. Maybe I should attach the tag. Well, I will when I undo it. So I made this little, this beautiful little album. Now, this is really sturdy because I um, used really thick corrugated cardboard when I covered it. It's Velcroed shut, so it's going to stay nicely shut. And then inside are tons and tons of pockets, again, with some of my nicest cards. I've got them all shoved in there as much as I possibly can because I wanted to give people a good deal. Now, I am going to... Um, I'm going to actually raffle this off, and I'm going to put the camera down now, and you can see me closing this up. Hi, Cor oops, Corey, I have to do this again. Hi, Corey, how are you? You, I saw you got a big rock or something in your, um, your, on your windshield. How horrible. I am so sorry. I hope that, that you're able to get that all taken care of. That doesn't, that didn't look good at all. I'm really sorry that happened to you. All right. So anyway, let me, 
let me get my glasses on so I can see who is here with me. And then, um, anyhow, so I did. I just wanted to share share that with you. Um, I am, and I need to put all these back in. But again, these are my these are some of my nicest cards. So if you want to do this, um, all you're all you're gonna do. I'm I'm selling one of these for twenty five dollars. Um, one of, I've got I've made a couple. So I'm selling one for twenty five dollars. Let me throw this back in there, and. I don't know if it'll fit now with that one. That one wasn't actually in there, but I, when I was going through my stuff just before I got online here, I thought, well, that's a really nice one. I want to throw that one in, but I might not be able to fit it in. It's, it's pretty fat now. Um, anyway, so this, I'm selling this for 25. I don't have this online yet, but I, I'll get it on there. And then this, this, um, and then the other one, I've got two of them that I made and the other one I'm raffling. Well, actually, I'm raffling this one, so I'm selling the other one, and I don't have that one happy, ha ha handy. You're getting it fixed now. I bet it was really scary. Um, that would have been loud and the glass breaking and everything. Um, I'm so glad you didn't go off the road because that would have been really traumatic. Um, so anyhow, um, so to do... to get entered in the raffle, you are just going to go over to Stampin' Up. I'll just click on my Shop Now button up there. Go to Stampin' Up, put in a $50 um, order, and then I will enter you in the little raffle that I'm going to do at the end of this month on April 30 to see who gets to win this. All right, so that is enough of my little sales pitch for the day. Um, I'll probably be hawking those cards for a while. <laughs> so I, I do want to, I, I'm not taking them and I'm definitely not getting rid of them either. All right. So today what we are going to do is we're going to make this cute little pocket thing. Now, um, this is my little sample that I did on a piece of DSP that I just decided I didn't need anymore. It's just in, from, uh, probably a couple of years ago, maybe even more. And um, it is just using a whole sheet of DSP. And I'm going to use our Magnolia, um, Good Morning Magnolia paper, which I really love. So what you do is you're going to take, since it's 12 by 12 already, doesn't matter which side. And I'm using paper that doesn't have any directionality because I was afraid that I might screw that up if I tried it with directions. Thank you for sharing, Linda. I'm glad you did that because I totally forgot to um, look at my who shares and who doesn't. I totally forgot to look at that. Being in in vacation mode makes me forget things a lot. When I got back, it was almost like, um, well, I don't know. I felt like I'd been gone a long time. We were only gone about six days, but my goodness, I was just, I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to just lay around because that's what I'd been doing. It's really easy to get in that mode. All right, so I will have to do our share, uh, drawing later uh at maybe tomorrow i have no idea so at any rate i will get to it um but please do share my videos i appreciate it it's the only way it's going to get around for sure and uh so anyhow thank you very much i think uh facebook doesn't i don't know i i don't buy things from them so they don't like me so much i guess so you're going to take your paper now if you're using um the score tool, it actually is a little more gentle than the scoring blade. This is, um, is a, it's, you know, I don't know. I think it's because I tend to press harder when I'm rolling it. With the score tool um, that in the score board, which I'm not going to get out to show you, it has a little stylus. And I, I don't know, I think my pressure is just less. When I'm using this and I'm grasping it like this, I think my pressure is pretty hard. So when you're using lightweight cardstock like this DSP, it's really easy to score um, a, a rip <laughs> in it. So you don't want, if you're using this cutting board, it's very handy, but it can tear if you press down real hard. So I'm gonna score, first of all, at the four inch line. Okay, and I have mine out because it's never cooperating. It 
flips out every time I go. I'm going to take it out every time I go. Whoop, it flips out. And I I just, I lost it so many times on the floor that I just finally realized I could just keep it in my little coaster here on my desk and be just fine. Okay, so that was the four inch score. And now I'm going to do an eight inch ones. These are really easy measurements to remember, aren't they? Did you guys see this on our demonstrator planning place, this little booklet? It was on there, I think. I think that's where I saw it, and it's really cute. Now, as I'm doing that, I also am going to cut um, to form the little pockets, you know, but I need to do all the lines first to do that, to know how far to cut down. So now I did it at four inches and eight inches, and now I'm gonna just turn it. And we are going to score it at three, on this side, we're gonna score it at three and a half inches. Okay, right there. And at eight and three quarter inches. Oh, it's beautiful here. We're having a wonderful day. It's sunny. Uh, the wind has been blowing a lot here, but it's really nice today. It's not, not any wind at all. Probably get out on a bike ride later. That will be nice. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out, I'm gonna cut out a piece, and let me make sure I'm cutting out the right, the side that I want it to be. Okay, I turned it back again to um, the direction I had it at the very beginning. And now I'm gonna just cut out this little pocket right here. And I'm just gonna continue to use my cutting board because I did it right there at four inches. And then I kind of have to get my head in here to see how far down where that, that um, it's cool and overcast in Virginia. You know, um, it was really beautiful in Springfield. Jeff and I've never been to Missouri and um, get that in the right place. Actually, if I use the measurement, that'll help eight and three quarters. They had, um, you guys have so many robins. You know, we have robins um, here, but not nearly as many. We really enjoyed hearing all of the robins. They were beautiful. Now, I cut that one out, but on this, this other side over here, I don't want to cut it out. I'm going to just cut this line right here, okay? So I'm not, not cutting this. This is going to fold, so I'm just going to cut this line. So three and a half is where that line was, or at least I think it was. It looks a little off. It was supposed to be at three and a half. Huh. Did I cut it too far? That's looking off a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Um, hopefully, I'm looking, thinking, uh, did I... Did I score it differently? No, that looks right. Let me fold it so I can see exactly where that score line is. Because that's where I need it to cut. Even if it's not exactly where... I didn't measure it right. That's three and a half. Oh my goodness. This is going to mess it up a little bit, isn't it? Okay, now here's my score line there. So we'll go right there. Okay, well, we'll just see what happens. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Now, we're gonna fold this up here, and now this is gonna form a nice little pocket. So we're gonna wanna score about one inch right there so that we can fold that down, and it makes a nice little decorative, decorative edge. So let's grab out the, the score tool again. St. Joseph, Missouri, I saw that on a map because we've been looking at, um, you know, property and stuff. We wanted to check it out. We drove all over that side. Of this. And um, I think I saw St. Joseph, though, was closer to St. Louis. And we don't want to be on that side of the state. We're going to we're gonna stick over on, we're at, we went to Springfield. And so we drove around all over there. And we would consider heading up towards, I suppose, Kansas City, but not want to stay south, want to stay southwest there. Did he like um, living in Missouri? 
All right, now for this side, what we're gonna do, we're gonna just cut, we're gonna again, with the same place that we cut out this spot, we're gonna cut this spot out. And then on this one, oops, this one, we're gonna just cut, um, let's see, what are we doing? We're cutting, have to kinda un we're gonna cut diagonally from here to here. And that's what we're doing. Okay, I better I better do that one first because I think I'm going to get confused if I don't do that one first. So to cut it diagonally, I need to find, I'm going to use my little pencil so that I can find where these two fold lines intersect. And I'm going to just put a little mark on there and then I can use my, I can put you put the point up here in the track. Um, 17, did he, and so does he, do you guys still have a lot of family? Does he have family in Missouri still? And then you're going to fold, if you're using this, you know, you would just use your score tool, but uh, I mean, if you're using the, uh, boy, that's not really fitting there. I might have to go grab my, my scoreboard. Hold on there. It's right here. It's not like I have to go far. One of the nice things about having a small house is everything is really close. <laughs> I don't I don't ever have to go far. All right, so now as you can see, now this is the score tool I was talking about, the stylus. And um I do like this. It I use it quite a bit, but um I was hoping I wouldn't have to, to use it today. But anyhow, we're just gonna line it up here. Because I need to go from here to, and I just need a straight line. So I want to make sure I'm in, in the track here. Yeah. Actually doing it with the other thing is a little easier because I'm going to, I'm afraid I'm not going to be in the same track here. So it's actually a little little trickier doing it on this. Did I match it? No, I'm not sure if I am. It's off a little bit. Ah, I'm having trouble with that. I'm, I'm getting it on, I'm getting on the wrong track. It's not really folding properly. All right, I'm gonna have to do something different because that I don't even need to score it. I need to actually cut it. So I'm going to take my scissors, and we're just going to cut it. Okay, so um, every two years, so what do you think about it, Linda? You, you probably know a lot about Missouri. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and just cut it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be somewhat straight. And then this is just going to fold up. That's going to make a little pocket, and this is going to make a little pocket here. This is actually quite easy to do. You can make some cute little cards to go in there, which is what we're going to do. We're going to just make a cute little card, and it's a, like a little photo album, too. If I wasn't using my cutting board, it might be easier. Then I can see where my um, lines are here and just cut this out. Okay, there we go. And then you can save these to use with the little decorative cards that you're doing, right? And then for this one, we are going to fold. Let's see, how did I, how did I make that pocket? Oh, I made it with one of these, that's what I did. So I'm gonna take it and flip it, and then this one's gonna make the pocket on this side. Okay, and we're gonna fold this like this. Now you can do it either way. Um, I actually think I'm going to prefer having this. Well, no, I think I'll prefer having this on the outside. Okay. Ah, uh, too scared of the tornadoes. Yes, I know. I told Jeff, well, I used to live, I lived when I was pretty young in Indiana in Tornado Alley <laughs> and too. And, uh, and it's sort of not really, we didn't live in Tornado Alley. I shouldn't say that because Actually, there are areas that are more likely to get tornadoes than other areas. So um, when we looked at it, um, Springfield and the actual city of Springfield looked pretty, 
pretty low risk. I mean, it's high risk in the sense that, yeah, it is very possible that they will have, and they do, they do happen. So, you know, I guess, uh, I guess at this age, it was different when I had kids living at home. Now it's like, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go anytime. All right. So I'm turning it around because I'm looking to see what I'm doing. This is going here. So now all we need to do is just use some seal sealing. Now you can use your, um, your stamp and seal if you want to. Um, you know, I always have trouble with my tapes. Doesn't really matter what kind of tape they are. And I, did I use this one up? Cause it seems, there we go, there's some stickiness. So you don't wanna put it here, of course, cause that's where things are gonna slip into. You just want to put it here. Are you going? You did. Now this is supposed to be really strong and I have used it very little. When I made this um, before, I used our, our old stamp and seal stuff. So I haven't really tried our new adhesive. What do you think? Is it strong enough to do this? Hi, Trudy, it's nice to see you. Uh, avalanche. Oh no, I hate that. <laughs> I understand completely. <laughs> All right. Very good. Now this is actually going to be a cute little photo container. Um, if you wanted it to be now, we'll put a little tape here, but I probably will do it for cards. It would, I, I think it would make a better tag thing myself. I think tags would go good here. Like if you did it for Christmas, you know, and did, um, did a little tag class. All right, there we go. So now that's a nice, another nice little pocket. And then for this one, we will just put that tape on the three sides. Make sure I've got it started up here. I keep, you know, not quite doing this right. And so... Let's see, we want it this direction. It works fine as long as you're doing it right, but what's happening is I push too hard. I also like to, as you just saw, kind of keep going and not stop, and that actually twists it and sort of makes a big mess. The other key thing I found is you, you want to make sure you keep this area free of tape. <laughs> uh, because if you're doing it wrong the way I'm doing it, um, tape gets on this and then um, touches that and starts to make all kinds of problems. All right, there we go. Okay, we're good. Little pocket, we're looking good. All right, so Trudy, did you get your, did you get it all taken care of? Now for this one, all you need is just some adhesive there. We'll put some here on this flap first. Oops, gotta get it started again. Okay, we'll get that flap down and then I can do it on this. This, I'm not alarmed with whatever problems I might be experiencing with this because this is the kind of problems I've had with every single roller tape I've ever purchased, so. And it's not the tape. I'm convinced since I'm having that trouble with everything that it's me. All right, so now then this will fold up here and this will fold down here and this will fold over there, and this folds over here. Isn't that cute? And then once you have this all closed up and ready, now you can decorate your front, and you can put little nice cards or tags on the inside. Super cute. All right. 
Look at that. So, Good Morning Magnolia is going. This is a set, a set that's not going to be available, so you need to buy it if you don't have it yet. This one, I bet you guys all have it. I loved that it had this envelope thing, but in our new catalog, there's even better envelope edge things. Uh -huh, have you seen them? They are wonderful and I ha that was one of the I was so glad we could order it in the pre-order because I have it haven't had time to play with it yet but I do have it so I am going to be used so happy to use that for Christmas especially now, I am a little bit concerned when we are in the process of moving we're, we got an apartment while we were there in Springfield and um it's actually an apartment that's not much smaller than where we live now because our house is really tiny. But, um, of course, I'm not taking all of my stamp stuff into an apartment with us. We're going to, you know, have a lot of stuff in storage. So, I don't know. I'm just a little bit concerned about how how my stamping business is going to go, keep going while I am um, doing all of this. All right, I am going to show you my basic borders dies. Now, these are not available yet. They are going to be in the new catalog, though, but it has this. Oh, this is actually from, this die is from the Penned Flowers set. I put it in here because I want to keep it in here, but I wrote on there. It's from the Penned Flowers set, so that one doesn't go here, but these do. And so you could make nice little, all different edged things right for the note shall we try the zigzag one i'm curious to see you're getting to try this with me brand new i haven't even used these yet all right let's see i guess we probably need to cut this paper down a little bit and now i took the space for my cutting board let's move that out again so that i can put it back Oh, not very good with the scissors, just freehand. So there's five and a half inches, and so now we've got a couple of pieces we can actually cut. Or, I mean, emboss and cut. All right, let's put this down. My, these plates are my old plates that I keep just for me, but I forgot that's what I had out so we'll just have to live with it all right so we're gonna try cutting cutting this you know that's just barely fitting there but I should be able we're gonna see does this have it does it has two stitches so I can get two little cards with this let's try to make it straight Is it straight? I'm not sure, but we're going to give it a go. All right. There were, um, we, there's a bunch, there's, we didn't see touristy stuff while we were in Springfield because we weren't interested in that. Look at that. So we did, but we just looked at all the neighborhoods to see if it was really a good place to live, and we ate out a lot. Now, it was crooked. I did do it crooked, but I am going to just live with that anyway. Isn't that cute? I love that that cuts it in half like that. Although, it would have been better if it was straight. So let's go ahead and abandon that for now. I am, I'm just... <laughs> playing here with you guys sorry 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 let's do one on the like this that way I can know I can get it nice and straight because across it's hard for me to see whether it's straight or not I really only need one side done I don't need I'm not going to go all the way. If I wanted to do a frame, I'd probably get a frame. But this would be a really nice frame, wouldn't it? I love that these are nice and long. So long. And it has a real, you know, the envelope. The envelope edges. 
This one's going to be pretty too, but I'm not going to do that one because I want to move along and get finished and get us out, get us out to this beautiful day. Now, if it's not beautiful where you are, it is here. So, and we've had so much wind this year that every day that doesn't have wind, boy, yesterday was a really nice day, but it was Sunday. So Jeff was home all day and, um, and I just didn't feel like going out on a bike ride. He doesn't go out on a bike ride anymore with me because I ruined his bike accidentally. It was an accident. I felt so bad. He didn't use it anyway much, but boy, I was so disgusted with myself. I thought I could fix his seat because his seat was, it was before I got my new bike and I was going to just make, because I knew we were going to move. So I thought, I'm not going to buy a new bike that we're going to have to move. I'll just use Jeff's but because he, he's not using it anyway. But the problem is that his seat was way too high for me. And in trying to fix it, I ruined his bike. Okay, now we're going to tuck this one's going to go in here. So I just need to cut a bit off of that. Let's maybe use this fatter one and we'll put the skinnier one up here. Oh, there's still a pocket I need to seal. I need to seal that and then that's gonna be too fat to really fit in there. Maybe I'll just leave it that way. It'll stay in there. Okay, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. We'll use that for that. Yeah, we'll use this one. All right, I'm going to just do, let's cut that at four and a half. And then I'm just going to decorate a couple of these just so that you get an idea what I'm doing. And then we won't be in here, you know, forever. That's not quite enough. I need to cut a bit more off. So as you can see, yes, it is kind of more tag-like. And you could put make a card that fit in there, but it would need to be thin. All right. Now, let's try our... Nice little swirl. That'll fit there nicely. I'm going to miss this set, but not really, because the other ones are really nice, too. We'll use some soft suede. I think my soft suede's getting a bit dry. I, I think my fingers are getting weaker because I've noticed that um, my cases aren't always getting shut. I think I've shut it, and then when I look over at the side, I think I can see gaps. Now, this is an old case, so that one is always shut well. It's the new ones that I'm not, I'm not pushing down hard enough to really get a good seal, apparently, on it. Okay, I'm going to figure this out. Before I go on, I want to figure out what I'm doing for the front. I think we're going to do this like that. So let me measure this and see how many inches I need to cut off of the bottom to get a nice front. Let's cut, uh, let's do four and three quarter on that. All right, four and three quarters. All right. It was funny when we were there. We um, we ran into people that actually are have have been here to Washington State, and that surprised us. We didn't expect that at all. So that was that was entertaining. The at the Airbnb that we were at, um, the woman that was there. I mean, the woman that owned the house right across the street from the Airbnb. Um, her name was Donna Crow. <laughs> so we thought that was really amusing too. She was a gardener. She was out there in her garden. I sat out on the porch of the Airbnb uh, every more, every day, quite a bit, because it was just really beautiful, peaceful. And um, it was about, there's a botanical garden there. And the house was about 
four blocks from the botanical garden, but you had to cross an expressway to get there, so we didn't walk. I thought we would be able to just walk to it, but um, I didn't want to cross. There wasn't a good, it wasn't, where that crossed wasn't a good crossing. It was like, there was, there might have been a crosswalk, but I wouldn't have wanted to even try it because the traffic is pretty heavy there. But, um, anyway, I saw her out gardening and gardening in her yard and thought, I'm going to talk to her about living here and about the garden. I didn't see a lot of roses there. They were, there were tons of plants, but not a ton of roses. Just some. Well, really almost every other plant, in fact, but just not a lot of roses. So I went over there and introduced myself and told her we were considering, you know, moving there and, and asked her what all about it. She'd lived there a long time, so she told me everything about it. All right, so in this is going to be photos and tags or or something like that. Um, there, in this sentiment, you have a lot of really nice, nice things. Now, this is the, this is... This is only half of the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And, you know, any, like if I was going to do little wedding picture things, this would be nice. Or, or graduation would be really good too. Graduation's coming up. So you could do the journey of life is best shared with a friend. You know, without the we'll get through this together. Just skip that part. That would be really nice for graduation. Um, anyway, I'm going to stick with the, the simple thinking of you just because that's going to be really standard and work for, work for any kind of, kind of thing. Let's go with something green since we're going to have a lot of green there. want to include that green color. So we'll get some old olive out. So she really loved it. Really, everybody that I, we talked to liked living there. But some, one of the people we talked to said, we're actually, you know, we want to, we're considering moving. And I said, why? Why are you moving away? So just, they were, it was somebody really young. She was probably 28. Um, so she just wanted to leave home, basically, you know, you know. All right, so this is nice. I am. I can color this later or not. I'm just not going to worry about it too much. It's actually really pretty just as is, isn't it? And I'm going to just stick it on there so I don't even have to worry about that too much. But um, some of our flowers are just so gorgeous. You You really don't have to do a lot to them. Just a simple stamping and... Uh, this particular flower, you, you just a little bit of petal pink, and it's really, really a pretty one to send with, with um, you know, quick, when, when you're in a rush and you need something quick. Okay, so that's going to go in there. This is going to be a little note here. This one, we can take this little tag and stick this in here, I suppose. But I think we'll do something bigger and put this here. And this also can't, could be a tag. I'm going to throw that one away, but, you know, you could use it as a tag. There's other little circle punches I have. I think that's what I would probably want to do here is do a circle punch. Now, our really quick need to remind everybody that... You know, stuff is going to be going on the clearance rack and at various times. And um, I doubt that these stitched shapes are going to be on the clearance rack. However, if they are, you better be ready to snap it up fast because they're going to be gone really, really quick. People are not going to fool around with that one, are they? They're going to be really fast. So let's get this size because this, I'm shocked that our stitch shapes are retiring, but they are. And because they are, again, um, many people are going to be be buying them. I'll be surprised if they make it to the clearance rep because they are going to be going out. Uh, I just, I would expect it to them to be sold out. In fact, they're not, I haven't looked at our inventory because like I said, we've been gone. So I've been 
not looking at things. So there we go, a little circle, that'll be nice. And then I can um, also put another little flower right there on this punch. Let's do that. And then I think I'm gonna be about done for today. All right, little, we're gonna go off, off of the, off the punch a little bit here, just so we don't have an exact image there. All right, so cute. And then you can do, again, this little enjoy today is perfect for, for this project. This is, um, this would be a really fun, easy project to do with a beginning stamper or a child, you know, who's 10 or 12, somebody not too terribly young. And then on this one, if your words are at all crooked, it doesn't really matter either. Because since it's a circle, we can just adjust it however you need to. These are the things. This is why I'm better. I'm a better circle person than a straight line person. It um, it's much easier to adjust when things go awry. All right, so that's almost it. And I'm going to put that away. We're going to uh, attach this. Can't, can't attach it with, with, um, with a dimensional. You don't want to make anything raised at all. So we'll just put a bit more of this tape on here. Let's make sure I'm getting it on the bottom. Don't need a lot. It's not rolling. There we go. All right, you, with our old ones, you did like this big check mark, you know, you shoved it down there and then you did a check mark and I don't know, I, I never got proficient at it. So um, this is going just fine for me, whether I check it or not. Okay, there we go. So now we have room for another little card in there. Um, I'll tuck you in there, but I'm not gonna use you. And this and this and then you probably were gonna want now let's tuck that there there we go that's better and that goes there isn't that cute now you would probably want a nice little ribbon right here on the side but I am not gonna worry about that today all right well thank you so much for watching with me and listening to my stories, a little bit of my Springfield story. I didn't really tell you a lot about it um, because I figured if you know about it, you probably don't want to hear about it. It's probably pretty dull. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. And I will um, see you next week again. Remember, I have my cards on sale right now. This is, again, great deals. 20 cards for $10. And then um, if you, and then I also have the big card albums on sale right now. So please check it out in my Square store. I don't have links on um, Facebook, um, but I do on my website. So if you just check that out, I would appreciate it. And I will see you next week. Thanks a lot. Bye.